not a pressure oven. What is a pressure oven? Well, a pressure oven, you know, a regular stove top. You put it in in the oven, but it has no pressure. So this one is a low pressure oven. What does it do? It's hermetically sealed. So no flavor and moisture escapes. So it infuses your turkey, your chicken with all the flavor, and it keeps it super moist. But just like a pressure cooker, if you cook a turkey, they tell you in between 15 and 20 minutes. So here you can put in up to 14, 15 pounds of turkey, and it cooks it in 55 to 60 minutes. And then you let it rest a little bit and you're done. Normally 15 by 20, it's like four hours, you know? So, so 14 pound turkey in one hour. In one hour. And it's so, gonna be juicy on the inside and crisp on the crispy, outside. Crispy, beautifully roasted in the outside. Okay. Or a chicken. On a rotisserie, you can cook it too. It has a rotisserie. You can make your pizzas in there. Everything, the bigger the pieces are, the faster they cook. If it's prime rib, you name it. Or I'm gonna show you. Everybody ask me to do that again. This is an Indian style rice pilaf. Oh. A lot of Indians are vegetarians. Okay. You know, they don't eat meat. So I'm gonna show you in the pressure oven. Okay. This is pan, comes with it. So I have rice here. Okay. All right, and we need the same amount of liquid. So always, just like in my pressure cooker, it's 50-50, it's liquid to one rice. To, one to one, yeah. One to one, okay. Then, okay, put that in here. Then you add a little ginger, a little touch of garlic here, not too much, and then some almonds if you like them, coconut if you like them. Here we have a little coconut too, look at that, everything. And then I'm gonna add pineapple, chopped up pineapple, some bell peppers or tomatoes or whatever you like, and then, okay, let's get it colorful. Maybe some eggplants. Oh, I love eggplant. Maybe some cauliflower. All right. That. A little zucchini. A little mushroom. A few raisins. Are you writing that down, Marianne? I love it. Okay. I'm so hungry looking at it. Okay. It looks so good. Then we're gonna add curry powder. Okay. As much or as little as you want. Maybe turmeric as much as you little as you want to make it a nice color, but also it's very good for you. Okay, yeah. then some salt. We didn't put salt yet, so if you want to cook without salt, you can do it, but I like a little salt in here. Mm -hmm. And then some olive oil or some butter. Olive oil is good for you. So now you stir that up oh, really it well. so good. Mm, yeah, already now. And you will see in 30 minutes, you're gonna have the most delicious meal. You don't gonna even think about asking for a pork chop or a chicken breast or whatever, you can eat that. So for all you vegetarian out there, this is for you. So that cooks for 30 minutes in yeah, the pressure oven. In the pressure oven. So now we're gonna put foil on top, a big piece here. Okay, so you try to close it up pretty well. So it seals in. To, you, yeah, you seal it in, but not too much. I'm gonna make some holes in it. Why? You want the pressure to penetrate the inside of your rice, so I just keep it like that so it cooks it better. Okay. All right, and then with a knife. Kind of venting it. Yeah. There you so go. now we are ready. So okay. now we need an empty oven. Which one we take out? The roast is ready. Does that huh? look good? Pot okay. roast. All right. Okay. All right. Let's Pot roast start. Roast potatoes are ready. And oh. by the way, show us how to use it. All right. Okay. Am I in the way? Okay. When I put it back in. So here I have pot roast in here. So you can cook it in your pressure cooker, but also in your pressure oven. So do you have to depressurize it before you open it? Like yeah. A I'm gonna cooker? show you everything okay. now. Okay. Okay. So now. I'm gonna put that in here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put it at 450. Now I'm gonna close it. Okay. Put the lever down. You see this lever? Yeah. That has to be down. That has if to be down not. in order for being yeah. a bit pressure. Yeah, and then you put it on roast or bake, and here you see the valve, you put it on seal. Okay. See that? Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put the timer on 30 minutes. Okay.
And there it now is you can do whatever you want. All right. We and put everything it. on it. You can see it's working. The green light is on, which means it's heating in here. Okay, and then that was the pot roast you made. Now, about how long does it take to make a pot roast in this? Okay. This now, one was an hour and a half. Yeah. But it, it's smaller. Okay, so about an hour and a half. Well, yep. You would think you would, you know, cook that all day long. I know. So it's so easy, so simple. All right. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Look at that. And again, look, I can cut it with a spoon. My, with a spoon. Look at that. Oh, it smells so yeah. good. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. So put the and, and in the summer, how great is it that you don't heat up the whole kitchen? Exactly. You, you know, don't heat up you're not, the kitchen. Because you would never roast a turkey. But yeah. how about, you know, in the summer, but how about turkey salad and turkey taco but you, night? You know what? And it's so inexpensive, turkey, also. Turkey is inexpensive. And with my pressure oven, mm -hmm. you're going to start eating turkey more often, not only at Thanksgiving. Why? Because it tastes delicious, it yeah. makes it nice and brown, but also the most important part is it stays juicy. So, yeah, okay. and it's also very, it's a very inexpensive meat. Exactly. Instead yeah. of buying turkeys for your sandwich, which yeah. you, is all preservatives, a lot right. of salt in it. You can slice it. it up for turkey yeah. sandwiches, and if you buy that Are we done with our turkey? Oh, we got a turkey uh, here? Should we wait? Yeah, this way, this way for the pork roasters. Okay, no, it, because it says five more minutes on here. So, okay, let's All leave right. it five more minutes. And by the way, we're here live if you want to call in. Our toll-free testimonial line is 1-866-376-8255. Yeah. We, we've got um, a cookbook as well, but there are recipes that are included. But if you want to do all sorts of the fun things that we're seeing here, you can do anything from, you know, carnitas to soup. You can do, um, you know, pasta Ooh. salad and shrimp pizza and all sorts of, all sorts of amazing, uh, you know, all sorts of amazing dishes to yeah. have the pressure oven. You know, summer's coming. Don't heat up the kitchen. Real quick, real easy. Under Ooh, $20. Hot, hot. And oh, look at how gorgeous. Now look at that. A lasagna Ooh, here. And how so long you, you cook can this? bake, you can roast, you can steam in there, whatever you like. This is the only oven you will ever need. I use mine at home all the time right. because I have this big oven, this big stove. By the time my oven heats up, here it's cooked already. It's already yeah. like 20, it's like preheat for 15, 20 minutes, you're already halfway done cooking. Exactly. And if you if you have like, if you entertain a lot and your oven is done, you know, your oven is occupied, you've got to wait for yeah. something to be done cooking. This is like redoing your and, kitchen. And you know, my knees are pretty bad. I have very little cartilage left. And for me to go down underneath and get this thing out, it's oh, very difficult. So it's like so counter level. Now it's oh, at wonderful. the counter level. I can look into it so it makes life so much oh, easier. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. Look at that, a beautiful lasagna here. Mmm. Mm. And that, that is, uh, I mean, oh. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> faster in it. the pressure oven, but also oh, the meat gets yeah. infused with the juiciness, yeah, exactly, just like a pressure cooker. Exactly, so it comes out perfect. You want me to mm. show me how yeah. we make our favorite vegetables at home? Oh, Galila, right? Yeah, Galila is often, she says, but, uh, uh, she says, Wolfgang, I'm a vegetarian, so we use a lot of sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes, potatoes, okay. onions, carrots, you name it. Then we put a little sage, a little bit of thyme in here, or rosemary, whatever you like. And all we do is put a little olive oil on top. And I remember when my friend Erica came over one day, she's a vegetarian, I made that as a side dish. Her husband loves beef, we had also a beef roast. Right. And she tasted that. She says, how do you make it? I <laughs> never had vegetable taste so good. Right. It's, and, it's the pressure. And it's the pressure because no flavor escapes, no moisture escapes. You don't have to add moisture, so it stays mm -hmm. just like that. You don't have to cover They're them. They're not all dried out. It's not dried yeah. out. It's roasted to perfection. Oh, and look, I'm looking at that garlic. I love roasted garlic. Yeah. So delicious. And how long will it take to cook the vegetables? Well, this takes about 20 minutes, maybe. And, that's and it. you have perfect vegetables. Perfect. So Everything. we have an empty one. Okay. Yeah. Now look at that. Okay. Huh? And then All you right. have to secure it. Okay, so look one more time here. I close the door here. And then I put the lever down. I put it on seal on top here. 
Now I'm gonna put it to 400. Roast or bake, and here's the timer. We're gonna put it on 20 minutes. So now you can do whatever you want. Go wherever you want and you are done. By the way, the, the dimensions is less than 20 inches. If you want to know uh, where's this going to go on my counter, it doesn't take up a huge amount of space for the huge amount of use you're going to get through it. It's uh, um, 12 and a half inches high and 19 and 7 eighths in, in the length. And the width is 15 and a half inches. Yeah. So that's it's not a, a huge perfect footprint. size. It's like yeah. a big toaster oven. Right, so exactly. it goes perfectly. Now come over here with your camera. Look, here we have our turkey in here. Oh boy, that's what I'm waiting to see. Let me show you what we do, okay? You got it? You put yeah. the lever on releasing. You release the pressure. Just takes a few seconds. And then you pull up the lever once you, you can hear the you, you thing here. You can hear the pressure relieving, You can right? hear the pressure relieving, yeah. I, get, I don't have a lot of time here, so we're gonna open that up. See? Okay. Yeah. You see the, the oh, steam and that. go close now. Look at that in here. Oh see boy. That? that is a full, now that's like a 14 pound turkey. Yeah. Right? Is that what that 14 is? 14 and a half pound turkey. 14 and a half pound turkey and it's about an hour. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really, you, and you think about that. look at the beautiful oh. color. Oh my gosh. It looks like a baking duck. And that's the difference between the pressure cooker yeah. and the and, pressure and oven. And it's the crispy. Crispiness. When you touch it, it's crispy. You can yeah. hear it. Yeah, yeah. Look at you that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And, and what I also love about it is the white meat is not going to be dry. Exactly. This really, oh, there so is good. no better way to cook a turkey. If you just buy it for that, you will come a believer and you will get back to us and do even more so. Okay, let me put that here. Mm -hmm. This fork is a little Beautiful. light. Yeah. All right. Look then we have to cut off the string here. All right, give me a towel. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah, and again, juicy white meat. Yeah. On an hour to cook it in this pressure oven at 229.95, free shipping and handling. Together. And then you've got All flex right. pay, so 45.99. And in the summer, when it's boiling hot, you don't want to roast the whole house. And by the way, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ovens going, and it's yeah. not. I'm not feeling any any of the heat. It's now look, not, look it's at not that. So we're gonna all. cut that right down oh, where the bone is here, and then go this way. All right. Okay, where's the, the joint? I have to find the joint right here it is. Okay, oh my and gosh. Look, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. And wow. you can even cut some of it up and freeze it, and, yeah. you know. So now you can have your turkey. Take off the... Look at that. Leg here, voila. Pretty. I'm not good at fight. Oh, here it you is. You are. Okay. There you go. All Look right. At that. And wow. slice the turkey mm. up into pieces. And then I'm going to show you one thing you really have to see. Okay. Look at that. The juice coming out. See? That is the breast meat, just dripping yeah. with juice. Now, let's come over here. They see it better with you. Come over here. Okay. Because of the, your black apron. The black oh, apron. Okay, yeah. You see that? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, it is gorgeous. Yeah. It's just so, you know, I, I, I was going to say, that's one of the reasons I'm nervous to cook a turkey, because that dry, yeah. you Yeah, know, normally it comes out uh, dry, dry but bone. That's why you have gravy. Yeah. You add all that gravy because it's so dry, but you don't even need gravy. You can make, you know, delicious, you know, turkey dinner one night, turkey yeah. tacos another night, turkey tetrazzini, turkey salad, and so, it, you know, really pennies. It's, it's so inexpensive, and you do think about something yeah, once a year, and you don't think about it in the summer because it's so, hot, you know, it's hot and you don't want to roast the whole house. Take it. Under an hour, yeah. in that little oven, 20 inches on your counter, 19 and 7 eighths of an inch. That's how, that's the length of it. Just pop it there. You're ready to go. And you know, there really is n not a lot of things like this out on the market. Yeah. It's not like you're going to go to a store and see 25. And I bet look, you if you have a pressure uh, oven, it's going to be way more. But you can see here, look at that. I cut the nice oh, thing out. Look how tender you have and how delicious that. it is. That looks so delicious. L and look at that again. See that? It's just dripping with juice. Yeah, I just see it like rotating. pouring yeah. off of there. You put a spoon underneath, look at that. There's no 
turkey, when you cook it in your regular oven, the breast, you get it so juicy. And then we have to clean up the lake. I know. I know, I know it's, it's so it's juicy. So, good, so right? the best thing, we don't have the time. I will tell you what I, I do. <laughs> what? Is what do do? I let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that and way. And it seals the juices. That in. way, mm -hmm. it, the juices stay even better in, and that way you have the best meat ever. Do you do anything special to the turkey to make it that juicy? Did you no, add oil just, or do anything? Nothing. You don't have to brine it. You don't, you don't have, have to, to brine do it nothing. or anything. You oh. can if you want to, but you don't have to oh, because boy, look at that. here with the pressure oven, all the moisture is right in here. Oh my gosh. And you look, look at that. That is so beautiful. Where's my fork? Mm. That looks amazing. Uh, I might have to use my hands. <laughs> no, look at your fork. <laughs> look at that. So now you can make the best turkey dinner. You want some cranberries with it or what? I want a little piece. I want you to cut me a little piece because I need to try this. Okay, it looks good. so gorgeous. I mean, it's just, I mean, when I look at this, it's just so incredibly mm. tender. Yeah. Mm. It'll make you a believer. Right? If you're yummy. Yummy. It's so delicious. Wow. I mean, I would feel so confident. I would, it would take away all my anxiety I around know. all the holidays. Mm -hmm. Because I always have that feeling like, I, ho I hope the turkey comes out. If the turkey doesn't come out, I've got all these people sitting around a table staring at me, and I'm getting them, you know <laughs> what I mean? Uh -oh, another, I feel that pressure. And other dried turkey. Mm, but look, okay, even the so skin. Good. Look at that. Skin is crispy. Oh. And I love so your good. story, Wolfgang, when you were entertaining for Thanksgiving, and you waited. I know. When I had, that was mm. years ago, like three years ago when mm -hmm. we started the pressure oven. My, my brother with his wife came over, and they had their daughter was like, a year old, they come to see me in the kitchen, they look at my turkey on the table raw. <laughs> and you should see, she made this big eye, she's from Pennsylvania, and yeah. says, what time are we eating? My kid <laughs> goes to sleep at 7 or right. 7.30. Right, right. And that was like at 5. Right. I said, we're going to eat at 6. He said, so what are you going to do with these turkeys? I said, I'm going to cook them. <laughs> Then yeah. I put oil on it, put a little rosemary in the cavity, and I cooked it one hour later. One turkey was ready. Yeah. As the one turkey was ready, I put the other one in. I let the first one rest like for 10, 15 minutes, sliced it, put some of my cranberries like this on it. Look at that. Look at that. And then we ate it, and then the other one, when it was ready, it came out. She begged me and says, can I take some home, oh. please? This is the best turkey I ever ate in my whole life. Oh, it, it, it is, it is, it is the, it's the juiciest turkey I've ever had, and I've eaten yeah. a lot of turkeys, but, you know, usually you do reserve it. And imagine that. Look, what a great summer dinner. Yeah. A summer so dinner. So you have that, and you know what? It's easy. For it's crisps. inexpensive. How much uh -huh. does the turkey cost, Marianne? That was about 79 cents a pound. So 79 really great cents price. a pound, yeah. yeah a so great it's like $12 price that, the whole turkey. Yeah, I mean, and by Pork the way, off-season, you can get them on sale. Yeah. So they'll they'll be on sale. And sometimes, you know, if you want, like, turkey sandwiches, you get that, you know, the turkey with the, you know, sodium-pressed, you know, turkey parts and, and everything, and it's, it's a bit more expensive. How about fresh turkey sandwiches? Yeah. Which is why we love having turkey dinners, is all the leftovers. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at mm. really roast that ham. Oh, so wow. we put this amazing glaze on top here and while we talk so much it got a little dark but that's the way i like it anyway me too yeah. oh, you know i love up. bread when it's dark mm -hmm. i like everything cooked really brown in the outside i think if america tasted with their taste buds instead of their eyes they yeah. would choose the darker too you yeah. know why even if you cook mm -hmm. something with flour mm -hmm. a cookie when it's really brown yeah it tastes delicious much so much better. better than a cookie which is yellow. And Ew. the pizza, though, the same. I mm -hmm. fight with my people in the restaurant sometimes. I didn't say I fight, I just yell at them and say, <laughs> how can you make the pizza dough so yellow? Cook it brown. That's when you get all the flavor. Look oh, at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. A gorgeous. Yeah. And look, you see how juicy that ham is on the, on the middle. You just yeah. see that pile of juice. Yeah. And, and how long does that ham dough? 30. 30 minutes. Uh, okay. I mean, that's crazy when you yeah. think about that. I mean, it, you would think these are all-day projects. 
you know, this is the Sunday roast. You know, we got to get up and set your alarm to I get, know. It, get it in the oven again. And by the way, don't forget about the cookbook. I know so many of you are adding that to your order. It's really going to give you lots of great ideas, and there's lots of pictures for everything. And um, it, 1995, okay, two flex, they have $9.98. Yeah. Marianne did the cookbook. It's 441 uh, It's a big customer pick as well. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. And, you know, it, when nice you're thinking, and by the way, there's How there's the, the turkey. Right there's the turkey right there. I mean, even if you, you have it, well, you're, if you hesitate to have company because you feel like you know, I can't do everything You know, but now you're going to have the confidence to have yeah. meat or fish, whatever it is, roasted to perfection. Why? Because there is no steam or no moisture right. escaping. No, I'm so about, everything is sealed yeah. in. So if you make a chicken with rosemary, it would taste like rosemary because nothing escapes. So if you make a roast, no moisture escapes. So then the air is full of moisture from the roast. Right. But that's it. The rest stays inside what? instead of sucking it out like in a regular oven. What about baked goods? Could I do brownies or bread in this or no? You can't do that. Yeah. Can you? Absolutely. Oh, you can bake in these. Yeah. It's ready. Oh. Now look at that. Here we have a big pork roast in here. I love pork. In Austria we grow up with pork. All right. Mm. So you have the release button right down here. See that? Okay. That's how you open the door. So a lot of people actually called me up. They said, oh, Wolfgang, the door doesn't open. So all you have to do is push that in and then you're done. Oh my gosh. So you is it, if you cook like let's say you're baking a cake, is yeah. it just a less time? No, it is less time, but it's going to actually rise higher because of the Oh, yeah. so you're going to get a higher yes. rise out of your Bread, baking anything like oh, that. Oh, yes. wow. So it's, there's so many things I need I need to get this. I feel like I look know, at that roast. No, if you're going to roast it like here we cooked our pork roast with sweet potatoes. Oh, look how beautiful so they came if, out. So what you do is you can mash that up. Oh, look at that. They just mash right there. They I love and you know what I see the ones that are brown I, I, yeah. I agree, that's the sweeter sugar coming the, out. Exactly. Yep. That's why I love it like that too. So you don't even need another pan. Mm -hmm. mm. Make a sweet potato mash and because it roasted. Oh, that smells so good. And you just cut that in cubes and you're yeah, just mushing just, it with the bottom of a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, and that, Helen, that, that pan comes with the oven. Isn't it gorgeous? A nine by 13 pan. Oh wait, this, yeah. oh, this pan yes. comes with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed that you can eat things with your fingers that are uh, the, the temperature of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the main thing. I'm like, how is he doing uh, that? No, I'm used to that. Because I'm like, you know. lit a hole and lit a hole. And, and so, okay, so this pan, so this is a roasting pan this that comes with a nine by 13. Now, I see you have a rotisserie there with yeah. the chicken. Yes. Yeah, now, the rotisserie, I think that we've got um, the, the roasting pan comes with it, the baking rack, you get the broil rack insert, the crumb tray, and the rotisserie rod also comes with it, right? Yeah. So we haven't even gotten to rotisserie chicken, which is, of course... Yeah, we'll, we'll get that too. Uh, mm. Look, oh, look at, at that. The pork is the same. Look how juicy. You will see in, in a few seconds it starts to Oh, that looks so gristle. good. Oh, we're going to save some of this for our producer, Pat, because he never gets any food. Because yeah. I, I, I heard that Shannon takes all of it. So we're going yeah. sure, to make sure today. I promise so him he's going to get the food. Just remember, at home, before you cut into your roast, let it, let it rest for okay. 15 minutes. Okay. And that way, you're going to get a better roast. Now, look at the pork. Even the end cut, when you lift it up, see that? Look at that. This Look is juicy, juicy, yeah. juicy delicious. Juicy roasted pork. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And this was all one pan. All in one so pan. Look, Look at that. Look at that. Look at Look that. Look at that. Wow. If you, okay. Pork, people always say, is dry, but not with us. Because it's like what you love about a pressure yeah. cooker is a pressure oven. Yeah. Where you're able to roast where it's crispy on the outside and all the meats are juicy. And it's look roast. at this pork rack here. See that? Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Just drip. And, you know, you're right. Pork is, like, usually kind of dry. Pork, especially the rack, people always complain, ah, oh, the meat is dry, I don't want to buy it. But not when you cook it in a pressure oven. It's delicious. Gorgeous. All right. Look at, look at that. Wow. It's, just, it's, it's, it's like you're just pour. It's like a pouring out the juice. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now, Mary just brought over some salmon and some kind of vegetable thing. What are we going to make here? Okay, Mary, I'm going to make something. I don't know. Ask she her. is? Okay, <laughs> are, you, yeah. are you? All right. I guess All so. Right. 
Get in there, Mary. Get in there, Mary. Get in there. Make us something. Make us you something. have to correct me then if I do it wrong. Um, what do you mean, do it wrong? Huh? <laughs> I never made this before, but oh, I love well, it when you make it. it. I just saw it. Your salmon vera cruz. Huh? It oh, looks, well, does you it look know right? How to make that. Come does on, it look Marianne. right? Just make it. <laughs> salmon vera cruz. I have so a little wine okay. now. now it's so fine. I know he puts in tomatoes and onions and capers and olives and he's not too fussy about how it goes but he okay. likes spicy so oh, we'll do yeah. some of uh -huh. these uh -huh. he does. garlic yeah. maybe there you go a little bit Did you like it yeah i do i do we'll just okay. do a little bit a little roast garlic and in there and then he does his salmon okay then you just put the always salmon always season there. everything he tells me and he tells me to make sure if you want every bite to taste good he says make sure you season every bite okay yeah. i never I've, forgot that when he taught me that i have to be honest i didn't know that you're supposed to do that <laughs> but it makes sense <laughs> that right it makes sense now that and, you say yeah. oh, i didn't add any oil yet okay yeah. are you going to add oil i need to right a little, for little the bit. flavor so you don't even need me see marianne i do she i do she i'm time. so nervous i will send byron over here and you and you're gonna make a whole new cooking demonstration does that look right yeah. all right yeah. now how long uh, do you cook that for i know it's less than 10 minutes okay we'll put it in here less than 10 minutes we're yeah. gonna, how about a phone call chef let's Absolutely. go to eileen in wisconsin who got this oven uh and we're excited to have it come home so eileen you're on live with chef wolfgang Puck my All name's right, Helen. look at that. Come over here one oh, more hi, time. I'm going to show you. Hi, Eileen. Look in the hi, pressure Wolfgang. oven first. I love you, Eileen, but you have to wait and I'll show you something. Oh, she want, he wants to show you something, so hang look on. Look at We're that, Eileen. Eileen. We're going to release the pressure here and then I'm going to open it up. Oh, look at look, that. Look at all what the we, and Look at the chicken in here. Oh, this is a chicken. chicken. Oh, look how crispy it is on the outside, Eileen. This how is what you're getting. How beautiful. And look at that. You get the handle to take it out really easy. Hop. Okay. Look at that. Now you comes. put it on the plate right away. <laughs> Marianne. Thank you for saving me. I know. I, I, I okay. got her out of the way there. I did. There you go. So, Eileen, what are you most excited about making when you get yours home? Well, everything that Wolfgang has made today looks delicious, but I think I might try um, my husband's favorite, which is a prime rib. Oh. oh. We made a few prime ribs also. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. That chicken, it looks yeah. to die for. Uh, it's, isn't it amazing? And you know yeah, what? It it's so, so great. Moist. You can put it in the oven, and then <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You put on the timer, and that's it. Uh, that looks so juicy. Yeah, it is. Huh? It's got stuck here. It's not straight in here. There okay, we go. go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We have it. All right. And 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 everything. What about the turkey, Eileen? Yeah, I I saw the turkey, and my husband pointed that out. He said, "Look at that huge turkey he just took out." And I'm like, oh, and we one hour. Yeah, in one, <laughs> one hour, hour, Eileen. That's the most amazing thing. Now look oh, at this. Wow. An hour. I one hour, okay. Eileen. You were ordering when we said that. That's yeah. the entire. Oh, can you I believe didn't even that? Hear that. Oh, yeah. That's unbelievable. Isn't it? That's to me. That's yes. the most incredible thing. Oh, I'm excited about getting this. I can't wait. Yeah, you're gonna buy turkeys and you're gonna eat turkey more often. Forget about for sandwiches, for salads, for whatever you yeah. use it. You're gonna just be so happy with that. And yep, it's going to sit on my counter. I'm not yep. going to put it away. Yep. You know, Good. it sits on my counter in my home. Even I have the most amazing stove. I don't know if anybody heard about Molteni. They make great stoves. Uh -huh. They make them to order like if you make a suit. Yeah. But wow. the oven is all underneath there. And I have to get in there. And my knees hurt after. So now I never even turn it on. If I have a chef come by to cook for us, if we have a party, one of our restaurant chefs, they use it, but me never. Oh, wow. See, so hear that, Eileen? Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. I can't, I can't wait, get, wait to get it. Thank you for offering it, Chef, and it's nice to talk to you. Thank you, Eileen. You know what? Because of people like you, I am here. Aw, bless uh, your heart. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Eileen. No, no, I love when you call. Great day. Thank you, you too. Thank you so At much for calling. Juicier, maybe. I need to, okay. can I grab some of that skin? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's my favorite part. Okay. I love it. Mmm, mmm, oh, this is so good. <laughs> okay, now look, you can serve that with well, the salad, with our the mashed skin potato. Is crispy. So that's the big deal with the, with the pressure of it. Yeah. Juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Yeah. And we've got about four minutes left four in the show. Four minutes left for all of you out there. If you don't want to heat up your kitchen, this will do a perfect job. Oh, that chicken is so good. Yeah. 
I, I love mm. watching you plate things. You make it look so I easy know, right? and everything looks brilliant at the end. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. think I ever have so did it's anything so easy, in my life. I tell you. Now, here in the pan, you have a little juices, so you put that all in, right in oh, here. Oh, look at that, so that you didn't even make a fuss with the gravy. It's built in gravy. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't really need gravy because it is so good. Okay. Baked potatoes. All right, okay, baked these. potatoes, I these know. These are one of my favorite things that you do because the oven does it so great. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we've got our final three and a half minutes of the show. This is the last show of the visit, so all the specials that we're doing go away at midnight. The free shipping and handling on this uh, goes away, and also on our 17-piece cookware set, the free shipping goes away. Uh, so I wanted to let you know, this is, you know, all these specials are for the visit. This is the last few minutes of the visit, three minutes left. So three minutes left. I love now, baked potatoes. You know, how, how you want to make, make it elegant. You can get, where did you buy the, the foil? Online? Online. Because okay. I saw you use it for the Oscars and it's yeah. so cute. Oh. We use them for the Oscars. I didn't all know the you time. even had that. Oh, they how cool. have baby ones. Yeah. Oh. Baby little tiny ones. Yeah, because we make them with caviar, so it's expensive. We can't on it. So you cut it like that, and then like a cross, basically, a middle cross. And then, because you like them hot, you don't yeah. want to cool them down. Okay. Then on both sides, you squish them together like that. See that? See, oh, that look, how, look how beautiful so that looks. Yeah. So now, <coughs> do the next one. I'll show you one more. You just go like that. Just, you don't have to go deep down, okay? Just more or less the top. Okay. You know? Okay, then you kind of squish it together. So and then so you fluffy. squish it together. See that? Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it, it reminds the me of those little fluffy. things that I had when I was a kid. I, I want know. to know what you think <laughs> of me. And you open them up. That's what they look like. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, it's so beautiful more. and elegant. Now how, now, how long do you cook the baked potatoes for, Marianne? Do you know? I'm, these, I know these were 35 minutes. It depends on the size. On the size. These are huge. These are huge. Yeah. These are much huge. faster in the yeah. pressure oven. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, and we actually have some people calling in and want to know how you clean it. All it's right. Easy, right? It's yeah. so easy. So, so you, you just wipe off the pan? You, you tell them, Mary I wait till I'm done cooking while it's still hot, and then put a pan of water in, like the 9 by 13 pan, whatever the dirty pan that you have. Put some water in it. Let it cook for a little bit as if you're cooking the water, because what that does is make that superheated steam that's oh, trapped. Have to go fast so to think about it. All the here. steam goes all over, softens everything, then open it up, cool okay. it for a few minutes till you can touch it, and then just wipe it. All right, look oh, okay. at our Thank prime you. here. A little piece of butter because we are celebrating. Yeah a nice week here. If you like bacon, I don't eat bacon today, but maybe a little cheddar cheese, and that's it. You bring that, Beautiful. and then comes the pièce de résistance here, our amazing prime rib. No. Oh, and that's what our caller Eileen wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, Eileen wanted to know that, and look at that, Eileen, oh, what we wow. have for you. With the roasted potatoes right in here. The Juicy on the inside, crispy yeah. on the mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Mm. Gorgeous. Look at that prime rib here. And by the way, all the cooking times come with the yeah. pressure oven in a booklet. So you don't have to worry, like, how long do I cook this? Don't mm -hmm. worry. A little booklet comes in the oven. And for each thing that we're showing you, it has all the, the times. Now, and know, look like how turkey. juicy that is. See that? Oh, I can't even. I can't oh even. Oh, my God. So <laughs> you decide so good. then how you like it. You know, mm -hmm. some people like it yeah. more on the well done. Some right. people rare. Yeah. But what in my house, my wife Galila always likes the end cut the most. So... Oh. What do I do? I give her the end cut. Yeah, of course. I like <laughs> happy more wife, happy life. Happy life. <laughs> I like the rare side more, so I eat the slices mm. from the center. And my son Oliver is exactly the same. All right. Well, we do want to mention a few things that we have available because we, uh, you know, as the last show of the visit, um, they're all.